and welcome friends. This is Jason Waddell. Today I want to show you how to download Studio One Professional DAW Digital Audio Workstation. Up here in the URL you go to presonus.com. I go over to products. Click on that. There's a lot of products here. We're going for software, recording software. Scroll down the one we want is Studio One. Scroll down again. I want to show you compare versions. You can keep scrolling to get screenshots of the digital audio workstation. I want to compare versions. There are three versions. Studio One Prime is free and it is a great way to start for beginners. Studio One Artist is a step up from that, includes more virtual instruments. Studio One Professional, of course, is the professional version with 64-bit processing, a lot of included effects for professionals. I again recommend starting with Studio One Prime for beginners. Up at the top, Get Studio One. Scroll down. Studio One Professional Demo is the professional version for 30 days. That's Well, you could try it out, of course, but we're looking at Studio One Prime now, which is the free version. It shows free here. You need to add it to your cart. Once you do that, this box pops up and you say proceed to checkout. From here, you either need to create an account at Presonus.com or use your Google, Facebook, or LinkedIn account to log in. And that, my friends, is how you download Studio One. And now I want to show you what you do once you are logged in. Okay, I have logged into my Presonus account using my Gmail. And what I'm going to do is look at the top here, my personas, my products, my orders, and support, and learn. If you want to start with some tutorial videos, some articles, whatever, that's a great way to go. Support is for extra help, of course. And my orders, products, personas. Um, if you have a product you bought from personas, like an interface, a lot of times those interfaces, if you register them on your account here, they will often come with Studio One Artist version, and that's a great uh, addition. In sometimes certain packages come with Notion, which is Presonus' music notation software. I am going to scroll down here and go to my most recent purchases, like my free one, okay? And I'm gonna go to Studio One 3 Prime, get all content. Now, I uh, do have a product key. There are five activations here, meaning I could put this um, product key on five different uh, computers. Let me scroll down here. To install the software, I need to get either the 32-bit version or 64-bit version of Windows. If you have a Mac, hit View Other Systems. It probably will detect it automatically. And the download install for Mac will come up here. If you're not sure about Windows, do the 32-bit. Now, to activate your copy, enter the product keys and your email address. So you may want to jot down that product key in case it asks for it when you run Studio One. You do not have to download these four sound sets. These are virtual instruments and loops that come with, they're about four gigabytes worth, that come with Studio One Prime, which is excellent. You can download them here and install them, or once you install the host program, Studio One, you can actually install those sound sets inside the program, which I will show next. First, let me scroll down. And you could see there are extra downloads, demos and tutorials. Again, I could get that inside the program. I don't have to download it here. And here's the learn videos. If you want to get started learning about Studio One and the different, there's a browser overview. That would be a good one to start with. The different videos about different features of the software. Now I'm going to show you how to run Studio One after you've installed it. I, am, I have installed and run Studio One. Now I have the professional version. 
I go up to the Studio One menu up here, and what I want to do, if you haven't already, is sign into my account. So make sure you do sign into your account. And you hit sign in, it asks you for your email and your password. Okay. And I also want to activate um, my product, like the free version. So if I hit Studio One Activations, I want to run Studio One Prime, the feature limited free version. Okay. Uh, lastly is this, and this is the most important step. You won't ever hear a thing unless you get some of the sound sets. So I'm going to go to Studio One Installation. Here, download from PreSonus account. So that's why you need to be logged in. Install it wherever you want to install it to. And configuration, custom is fine. Down here at the bottom, you want to make sure you click on the boxes next to these instruments, loop libraries. Now I'm going to have more because I have the professional version. And boom, I click these little arrows here and they show you the different libraries you're installing. Two gigabytes just for one library, just to give you an idea. This could be very big and take a long time. Installed. You're recommended to download this on a wired connection, not wireless, just because wireless takes longer. So make sure you download all of those. You hit the install button and you're probably going to need to walk away for a little bit. So that is how you download and install Studio One and then go back and install the sound sets and plugins, the installations inside Studio One DAW. All right, good luck and have fun. Hit like and share.